Hey, you're looking to sign up for stable host. Wait, watch this video before making your final decision. The classical title always be seen online. Stablehost is a relatively small hosting company started in 2009. Their office were located in Arizona, USA. A company sized with a total of 15 workers including the boss. I found this picture on their website, looks happy. But, not sure if it's real though. Are the things we saw on the internet are actually real? Anyway, according to SimilarWeb this website serves an estimate of 150,000 visitors every single month and the large majority of them were Vietnamese, contributes over a quarter of the traffic, than the United States, Sweden, India and Germany. I was skeptic and refused to believe at first, because if their main traffic source were Vietnamese then this shouldn't be English, it turned out I'm wrong. It turned out that stable hosts do officially support their language. However, their live support don't, why? Stable host is considered as a okay web hosting provider. For fast food seeker, here's the pros and cons I've come to conclude on. Pros, cheap hosting, 50% off on first billing, unlimited space and bandwidth, free daily backups, free SSL certs, great variety of data center, cPanel hosting, one-click install app, Softiculous, free website builder, stable host cluster feature, 45 days money back guarantee, cancel anytime monthly basis billing, live chat support. Cons. 2.8 seconds website loading time, experienced more than 13 downtime over months, loaded 500 users to each shared server. By weighting both the pros and cons, you might be suggested that the pros is more than cons, so Stablehost is a good-to-go hosting provider, let's sign up. But wouldn't you want to listen more about the hosting provider before investing all your time and energy for your website? The path to be a wise consumer? In today's market, everything is about price. Yeah, half correct. Though, Stablehost offered a significant lower price compared to the industry, with the cheapest shared hosting plan, they called it the web hosting plan, price starting at $3.50 per month on three years contract sides, with the 50% off coupon, you're paying only $1.75 per month, and you're entitled to unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, live chat, cPanel hosting, free website builder, free daily backups and such. In some occasion like the Black Friday sales, Stablehost may offer up to 80% off coupon, for your paying on an even cheaper price at 70 cents per month. Yes, in terms of price, it is ridiculously affordable, but we do have other factors to take consideration right. The shared hosting package, they called the web hosting package, comes with three plans. Price differently starting on $3.50, starter. $8.50 Pro and $28 for Platinum. I hate to go with $27.99. The major differences between Starter and Pro is, literally nothing than support hosting more than one website. But the difference between, comparing Starter and Pro as a group, and Platinum is. With Starter and Pro, you're squeezing I mean sharing yourself in a group of 500 peoples, working under the same server. But with Platinum, you're comfortably squeezing yourself with only 50 peoples. That's a major improvement. Though why don't get a virtual private server pricing around $10 each. The specs are almost equal though without any control panel. Stablehost offered something different than the mass in hosting industry does, called the Stablehost cluster. It is actually a copy version of Cloudflare. Ahem, it is a unique features, and was meant to reduce server downtime, that automatic failover when the server failed to response. Say for example, the current hard drive failed to load, the system will automatically allocate you to a working hard drive to save you out from hellfire, I mean complaining visitors. Other than that, every shared hosting plan were granted to exciting features like free daily backups, cPanel hosting, free website builder, free SSL cert, one-click install app Softiculous, and has a great variety of data center to choose from. According to them, their data center were located at Phoenix, Arizona, Chicago, Illinois, Amsterdam, Netherlands, Stockholm, Sweden, Singapore, Valencia, Spain, and Frankfurt, Germany. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, actually only 8 of them. By any chance if the majority of your visitors are Vietnamese, you can choose Singapore as your data center. If most of them comes from the Europe, then you can choose Frankfurt, Germany. 4, a better loading speed. Stablehost user dashboard is the normal WHMCS clients panel, it is a third-party software or known be as a reseller site. That might conclude the company did not invest much enough on the client's panel. But it wouldn't be necessary to, imagine yourself as a seller, would you spend more on an undeveloped app, 
or on a well-known app that exists with all completed integration and features and been working for years. Not a big issue to the performance, but in my opinion showing the how much we are willing to pay for our brand to the client. Stablehost comes along with cPanel hosting as a web control panel. This is where you start building and manage your website, uploading and editing files through file manager or FTP connection, obtaining HTTPS through free SSL certs, analyzing web traffic through Orstat, add additional domain name through add-on domain and a list to be told. Then, with one-click install app, Softiculus. Installing famous apps such as WordPress, PrestaShop, Joomla, and such is just the matter of numbers of inputting clicks. Aside from it, Stablehost also comes with an inbuilt app called the Site Builder, distributed by Basekit. It was known as a drag and drop based app, allowing you to create and customize a professional blog or e commerce, yes, a web store, or edit one with numbers of pre built template, sort of similar to Weebly or Wix. Like the other two, to be able to allow your clients and primary your web clients to experience WoW features, wondering how WoW about it cost you more per month. Though, WordPress has pretty much everything free. Talk about their support, I haven't really experienced the good or the bad part of it. But apart from the review, every users are accessible online. They claimed their support as trash. How trash is it I don't know. But always, trust your experience than what was being told. They have four types of support available, phone, email, chat and ticket. Chat are most commonly used and it's partially powered by robot with already created articles on the library of knowledge base to ease those most frequently asked questions, like I forgot my password, tell me what is my password, or do you know how date an Asian girl and such. People ask weird question these days. For users who have purchased the enterprise web hosting, I think is the platinum web hosting, are granted for VIP ticket support. Has the privileges of jump queue out of the queue of those sweeties waiting on the line. While they also offered a callback service when your request wasn't fulfilled in any way. Other than that, they also had something called the priority supports. With a one-time fee $19.95, you are granted a ticket of the calling of Avengers. Supports like agency. Promise to get your issue responded and fixed within 15 minutes. Which is cool if you miss those tickets in the cinema. Talk about the speed and uptime. May disappoints lots of the folks here. Maybe we should skip this part. Maybe we should hold our positive impression for stable host. Their average web loading speed is 2.8 seconds for almost text-only website. This testing is done between a hosting period of 5 to 6 months now. The average response time is 1 second or 992 ms. Disappointing right? The most disappointing part is the uptime. I suffered. Over 13 downtime over the past 6 months. It is very disappointing because I have paid a total of $11 for hosting a year. $11. And the longest downtime I have experienced was 10 minutes. Just disappointing. Given that their refund policy states, within 45 days from the purchasing period, for any random reason you don't like about them, whether their uniform sucks or their hairstyle was outdated, just cancel it through the billing system and contact them, they will send you the refund. Yet it is only available for shared web hosting plan. Now they admit it was a shared web hosting. Overall, the feedback most users left were negative, and I don't understand at all. Though I experience slow loading speed, because I'm living in the Asia and the data center are located in the US therefore the stats shown by GT Metrics was awesome, for the West, but, for the East, I haven't experienced any great negative issue with them. The most I want to complain about is the other 499 users I'm sharing with, under the same server, what are they doing? What's with the getting my website down for 13 times over the past 6 months? Their doing is unbelievable, irresponsible. I will not forgive them. By any chance if you want to show your support for such awesome video, please smash the like button as if smashing the token machine, then goodbye.